Hey family, it's Regina coming back with a special video because tonight it's about the vanillas. First, let me welcome you. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is a repeat visit, thanks for coming back to hang out with me. It's about vanillas. <laughs> I'm already excited. I haven't even tried any. As I like to say, welcome. It has turned a little chilly, a little rainy here. I was playing around with some vanillas because I wanted to feel warm and cozy. And I just felt like I wanted to record because I've missed it and I haven't done it. No, 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 that's not true. I have done it. I have lots of footage to edit, but I didn't feel like editing right now. I want to record. And I decided I did a video about vanilla houses, you know, vanilla in the name, so to speak. And that tonight I was going to do some vanillas. It turned out to be a lot. I think I have more. I just stopped looking. <laughs> But vanillas that when I first got into this a year and a half ago were were heavily talked about and some some of them still are. I was like, you know what? My nose then is a different nose than I have today. Let me go through these and see how are these going to fare in my declutter rehoming journey. Some may stay, some may go. It could be all or none. I don't, I don't know. I have, like I said, some of these I have not smelled. A few of them I have. Let's get started. First up in this group is going to be Joe Voy's Fire at Will. Name on the side looking like that. Can you see that? I already sprayed this to be honest with you because I wanted to give it a chance to dry out, dry down. This is, I would say, more of a butter cookie vanilla, really, but really, really light. Gourmandy. I'm not getting, I don't get any florals in it, but the lightness of it would make me wonder if it's real, what the lasting power is, to be honest with you. Gorgeous. Jovoy, Fire at Will. This is Perfumi di Frenzi Matilda. And I have to tell you guys, I didn't even know I had this in my closet until I went looking for more bottles. And then out it popped and I was like, oh, I think this is vanilla. Let me check it out. Mist is wide, sprayer has no power. Oh, this is a fruity vanilla. Red fruits at the top, I, I'm getting the sense of. Hmm. Very different than the previous one. Let's get through them. I gotta come back. I can't say yay or nay, because these two are very different, if I'm honest. This one probably needs no introduction for most of us, and that is Tijota. No introduction. This has been one of, I think, the top 10 vanilla fragrances talked about in FragCom since I've been around, and I'm sure it was talked about before. Oh, this is this is more of a caramel vanilla. It's got some sweetness in there, like, like caramelized um, brown sugar. This is this is really nice, but again, really light. I would have to question the longevity of this. Is this going to give me at least three to four hours, or am I going to be wanting to up respray after a couple? Right, that's. But boy, is that pretty. Mm. That's gorgeous. I'm going to keep going. We're going to keep doing this. This one is Profumi Roma Vanitas. I have no memory of this. I'm, obviously, I own it, so I bought it, but I have no memory of buying it. Nothing to share with you about why I bought it. Let's see if it surprises me. Wow. Okay, that surprised me. was not expecting such a powerful sprayer. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. I don't like this. It's a vanilla, but there is some green, almost like nail polish. Not not nail polish remover, but like that nail polish, the aroma that comes off of the nail polish when you open it. Didn't like that. I think this one is probably the grand dame of vanilla number one through ten in Fragcom, and that is Escapade Gourmand, which, you know, Gourmand got me. But this is so revered and just so well-loved in the niche world. I'm not sure there's anything else. I probably should look up, see if they have other fragrances of that. I don't know. Love the bottle, love the heavy weight of it, love the fact that it's rectangular with some rounded edges. Um, it's just very simple. And a nice sprayer, not very wide, but, but pretty powerful. This is gorgeous. Hmm. I would not say it is better than Fire at Will. It is nice. It's very similar in my, in, to my nose right now, but I wouldn't say it's better. But it's got a great, great top. It, so it's good. We're going to keep it. It's on the Taha. 
It's gorgeous. This is another one, FOMO. FOMO for so many of these, you guys. This is Exidolo. Does not get a lot of hype like it did last year. This is Exidolo, Love and Crime. And I think I bought it because the story on was such a cute story and the inspiration behind this that I was like, oh, I want to get that. That sounds so cute. But I don't remember the story. <laughs> you remember the scent, you remember the story, but I, yeah. It might have been like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing, right? Where they're, ooh, nice sprayer. Where, you know, people fall in love, they go on a crime spree, they end up dying in a hail of bullets for each other. Something. Oh, this is lemon. I am getting such a strong lemon from this. With a hint of sweetness, but the initial spray is lemon. This, to be honest with you, smells like what I thought Lyra would smell like. Strong lemon presence, like a lemon cream pie -y almost. It's, 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 be it, it's beautiful. Let me stop saying it's beautiful, but it is beautiful. This was gorgeous. Or like a lemon cookie, shortbread or something. It's, oh, maybe that's where the love comes in. This one may not have gotten a lot of hype. I don't remember hearing about it a lot, but this is another one that I actually thought I enjoyed. Vanilla Brulee by Ma Malanote. So I did, I do remember hearing about Malanote, to be honest with you, and the level of hype that it did or did not get. Guys, I, I at some point, I'm going to tell you how many vanilla centric vanilla focus fragrances I have because I think I'm I should be closing in on 60 and I picked these because number one they were in eyesight of what I was doing but also because these are ones I remember being very vanilla forward not not fruity with vanilla coming up now these were very vanilla from from top to bottom oh this one this one's cake batter oh maybe that's where the brulee comes in totally this is total cake batter that vanilla is vanilla extract. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to keep, I keep forgetting to show you at the end that it is, um, it's this one, Vanilla Brulee by Malanote. Gorgeous. Here's another one that I don't think gets a lot of attention on Fracom, and this is Bourbon Vanilla, or sorry, Vanille Bourbon by um, Il Profumo. It got lots of love last year when I was coming into Fracom. Haven't heard a lot this year, but everybody has been much more singing the praises of Bianca Latte. Going with milk notes are big this year. Huh? Not bad. Not great, though. Okay. Mm. This is a perfume vanilla. I don't like it. Do I need my disclaimer? I am saying I don't like it because in my head it smells nice, but I'm already thinking, would I reach for it? Probably not. And that is because I have other ones that I already know I love. That's why I'm saying I don't like it. It's, it's a no. Another one that was so heavily, widely hyped, which is Narcotica Dulce Diablo. Is there another one that's out from Narcotica? Happy Dust, maybe? I don't really remember. I've not bought that. Unless, oh, gosh, okay, I like that. I like that as much as I liked it before. <laughs> do you ever do that? You're smelling, you're sniffing, go down a, your test or if you forget to write on it, because I don't write on these, and you come back and you smell it, and you're like, oh, and you're, and you're, reconvinced that it was a good choice. That's what I'm feeling right now with what, that one. And I believe that one was um, Ex Nihilo, Love and Crime. Let me smell this one. And I gotta be honest, guys, you know, none of these fragrances are inexpensive. This one's like chocolate cake to me. This is a bittersweet chocolate cake. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I did not remember that it was such a chocolate, but it is. <laughs> Let's make the assumption that it's a yes because it's vanilla, unless I say no. How about, how about we do that? I really hope at some point that you guys get your nose on some of these, because like I said, they're not inexpensive. So I, you know, a lot of people may not have them, but you should try to smell them because they are, they are different. The only two that to my nose right now are similar are the Javoy um, Fire at Will and the um, Mesa Mataha. Those two seem similar to me and I will have to at some point do a comparison. And do you guys know this one? This is Madeira. Madeira. It took me so long to get this as when I was trying to order it last year, it was always sold out. It was insane. It was like, people, really? And then finally I was on the wait list and I got the email that said, yes, we have it. Would you like us to ship it? Yes. Um, so let's spray this one. I can't, honestly, I can't wait to pull the notes up with all of these because it's obviously vanilla. The majority of them are gourmand. 
I just cannot wait. This one has some amazing, can you see my thumb? You can't see the shininess. Some amazing oil in it. This is gorgeous. Oh, this is, this has coconut. Or it smells like coconut. Coconut and vanilla. But really light. None of these have been beast modes. Let, let me be clear. On my nose, none of them are beast modes. I'm not getting rid of this, but at this point, I'm smelling slight coconut. Well, that's kind of it. Pointing. I was really hoping that it would be something as amazing as people had said it was last year. Mm hmm Madeira. I think this one is a gourmand. And if you could see the name here, it is um, Bottega Profumeria. Profumera. Gourmand. Just beautiful. Name. Scent. Let's see. Let's make sure I'm not... Don't remember how I got this one. So funny. I don't remember how I got so many of these. But some of them really do have memories for me. Isn't that funny? Like I remember why I bought it. Well, I remember who was hyping a lot of things. But I try not to talk about that. Because everybody hypes. Mm. Nope. Don't like this. Moving on. Great. Actually, really nice cap. Really nice. Uh, really nice bottle. Really simplistic. But um, no. Let's finish up this vanilla competition, which really isn't a competition, with another one that was hyped by Fragcom, which I don't hear a lot about, and this is Jeroboam Insula. I had it backwards. Probably the, one of the smallest. It's almost like a Cali sample, which is really sad, considering this was nowhere near the price of a Cali sample. Oh, and that's a nice white spray. Come on, that's that was nice, you guys. Mm, mm. So, back to my questions. Do you guys have any of these? Have you smelled them? What do, you, do you have any? What do you think of them? This is, oh, this is nice. This is one of the best. Oh, okay. You don't get a lot, but what you get smells amazing. So this is a yes. Well, guys, that wraps this episode up. This was my attempt at some vanilla, at some vanilla rehome. I think I did okay. Not going to say I did great, but some of these vanillas, you guys have to admit, were, are awesome. I am rehoming four and I'm keeping nine. So I'm kind of doing that 50 50. These aren't flankers though, but I'm kind of almost getting there. We're, you know, we're working. We're working slow and sure. Guys, thank you for being here. You know, I appreciate it. Appreciate the company and come back and hang out with me again. Until next time. Cheers.